Welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man X, Episode 11. I'm Ritz Blues, and this is Sigma Stage 1. So this is it, the final battle. We're going to split up. He'll go one way, and I'll go, wait, the same direction? I like how we went through eight Mavericks and a bunch of upgrades and repeats to find this place. You'd think that a main attack force as big as this, as difficult as what Zero claims this is, would be easy to detect. But apparently this was well hidden. So, one of the biggest challenges of the Sigma stages... Ah! It's that jump right there that I keep botching over and over and over and over again. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's 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 a tough level. Requires a little bit of practice for me to get it right. I keep messing up that same jump. I'm gonna be more patient this time. Got it! Yay! I am happy. Much, much better. It's really annoying how hard this jump is to make. Got it! Another advantage of charge beam here. This area is so dense rather just buzz right past it and get past all the tough stuff. Ah, I didn't realize that could wear off. Oh well. Vile. Yeah, I'm sure going alone is going to be totally worth it. What could possibly go wrong? That didn't take long. Oh. Looks like zero lost. Well, hopefully you remember his patterns from the intro stage, because he fights pretty much the same way, except now we've got upgrades, we've got weapons. He couldn't possibly hit me. He couldn't possibly defeat me. Come on, we can beat him. Even if he doesn't have a life bar. No. Wait. Maybe my supercharged buster? No? Man, this isn't a very fair fight. On. Ah! Again?
Oh, you'd think that would take him out. Man. Yeah! Wish I could do that all the time. I know. That was kind of cheap. Actually, that wasn't nice at all. Maybe I should do this the right way. Yeah, this is how we really ought to do it. Zero goes out with a big badass bang with the awesome music. Charges up until he explodes. Doesn't unleash the charge, just explodes. Purple Boba Fett stands off without his mech armor to hide behind. Supercharge. Back to full health. Let's fight him for real. Not the wimpy way. He got to do his wimpy fight, I got to do mine. We'll match it up and fight fair. So, I've heard a number of different reports of different methods for fighting Vile. He's got all kinds of weaknesses. You can see there that Armored Armadillo did a pretty significant chunk of damage. You can do a decent amount with Launch Octopus. It all works pretty well. The more important thing is that you don't get hit by his stun shot, because that'll really wreck your day. if you let it. But all in all, Vile's really a pretty easy boss fight. <laughs> Poor Zero. Apparently, Reploids can bleed. Man, I remember playing this as a kid, thinking that Zero was such a badass, only to see him die in this stage. Man, it really messed me up. I was ticked after that. One of the major differences between that scene and a different version of it is whether or not you have collected the Buster Charger. If you uh, have collected the Buster Charger, the uh, weapon upgrade from uh, Flame Mammoth stage, while wow, I'm royally sucking at this, Anyway, if you collect the um, the Buster upgrade from Flame Mammoth stage, man, if you collect it, okay. Um, the cutscene is what it is. Zero thinks that you've done a very great job of getting stronger, and he just dies. Whereas if you um, if you don't already have it, crap! If you don't already have it, then uh, he'll give it to you as his last action before he dies. Oh yeah, since we are in the final stages of the game, we will have to do 
a few repeat boss fights. Not surprising. Just have to be extra careful not to get hit since I'm kind of close to dead. One more ought to do it. Alright, I was holding my breath through that. So you can tell by my broken conversation and lack of playing this game very much that uh, they really don't mess around in the Sigma stages. Yes! Everybody's being nice to me. Oh well. Stun door walk! And now we're at the boss of Sigma Stage 1. So, those four pillars in the middle are part of the spider webs. Depending on which path, uh, appears, the spider will shift lanes from one side to the other, and the uh, the spider bot's weakness is uh, shotgun ice. Occasionally the spider bot will also drop these really annoying spider enemies on the floor. And you pretty much just have to ignore them, avoid them. Which is tough, because you only get a narrow window to actually damage him. And if you screw up the timing like I just did right there, you get nothing. Man, I just can't catch a break this round. I am totally going to die. Yep. That's what I get for miscalculating. There's many games like that in uh, some of the Mario DS games where you have to track which way the heads are going to move before they go. But for the life of me, I just can't seem to catch a break this round. Hopefully this uh, rematch I'll do a little better. By process of elimination, sometimes you can tell right away whether or not you're going to have to deal with the spider on each level or not. Sometimes just going to the one extreme or the other is all you need to do. Can't possibly hit me there. Tough to do. Only one choice here. This fight lasts a very, very long time if you don't have any shotgun ice left over. So it's imperative that you save up as much as you can for this and try not to waste it. Because if I don't do it this time, I'm probably going to die and not be able to do this. As you progress and get closer and closer to defeating the spider boss, man, it moves faster and faster. Two more ought to do the trick. Straight down. One more to go. Yes! Got it! And that's it! I have successfully finished Sigma Stage 1. So, that gives you just kind of a taste of what to expect with the Sigma Stages. But, hold on folks, it just keeps getting harder from here. 
For defeating the spider boss, we get nothing. So here we are, back to the stage select screen, ready to pick Sigma 2, or we can go anywhere else we want. So next time on Let's Play Mega Man X, we move on to Sigma Stage 2. This is Ritz Blues, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.